Welcome to Loose Cycles, a little bike shop in a Ljubljana town, right in the middle of the beautiful Blue Mountains of Slovenia. Luz is known for their unlimited passion and fascinating skills to build bicycles. These are Tina and Marco, two bridges that run the place. Tina is building a set of wheels for his new bike using Chris King hubs, velocity rims, sapim spokes, the good stuff them. Big things are going on the other side of the town in the meanwhile. David from Carousel Cycle is doing some modifications to a 2018 bomb track beyond frame. This braid has stripped off the paint and is now brazing a piece of metal to the seat too. This is Tina's special request because he wants to use an analog dropper post on the bike. After David is done, the frame comes back to the shop and it's now Marcus' turn to add the final touch before the bike gets assembled. So he paints the bomb track lettering on the down tube and prepares it for clear coating. Finally, all the pieces of the puzzle start falling in place and Tina starts with the bike assembly. The fox steerer on most new frames is too long, so it needs to be cut down to the desired length. It is then held together by a headset, stand up and stem. In this case, those are all made by His Majesty Chris King and Paul Components. He's using a mechanical disc brake on this bike and he rely upon the TRP levers to keep him comfortable and stopping whenever necessary. The set of wheels in built before is now getting set up tubeless and ready to touch the road. Yeah man, this bike will be a single speed, but since the beyond frame is not really single speed ready, let me tell you, there is a magic gear in there somewhere, but it takes a little try to find out. The bike them need a bottom bracket to move, and it most definitely needs a crank set. This one is made in Italy by Ingrid Components, and it fits the wicked color scheme perfectly. I did mention mechanical disc brakes, right? Well, them don't make them any better than Paul Component clampers. If something is gonna stop Tina, it's going to be this. Before the bike is ready to go, it still needs a couple of things, like the bar tape, the camp and go slow for comfort, and the king cage buckle holders for hydration. See? The final piece of the puzzle is this custom-made head badge inspired by Tina's dog. This way she can be with him anytime. There we go. The bike is complete and Tina is one happy camper. Apart from the stuff that I already mentioned, the bike has some additional features, such as an engraved book saddle by Ross Leon, the guy who does most of the illustrations for the shop, and the original analog dropper post, the height right. Eventually, no man, even hopefully, there will be more rust and patina upon the frame. But because of the high quality steel that it's made from, it won't cause any internal damage. It might void your warranty though, so better think twice before you do this at home. Let me tell you, if you ever wish your individual dream by getting cooked, your menu a la carte. Link up with the bridging them from Lowe's. You'll experience a place of pure niceness, high revives, and massive skills. <laughs> <laughs> 